What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to go over five times or maybe four or three, however many I can find, five times for now that Matt Benedetto was just a humble guy. I think guys like this, drivers like this in the sport, they need more, what's the word, recognition for being so positive and honestly Matt Benedetto reminds me a lot of Carl Edwards and so uh, I'm gonna give Matt Benedetto the spotlight here so we're gonna go over some interviews where Matt Benedetto was just you know thankful for his position and whatnot so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. One spot away from that magical 100th Wood Brothers win but this is the type of day that you dreamed of when you took over the iconic 21. It was man this was all just uh, too surreal <laughs> tough to be that close but hey this is only the second race of the season so it just shows the uh, strength of this team it's so cool to have the backing of all the people that allowed me to drive this thing. It took so many people. I mean, Motorcraft, Quick Lane, to be driving this iconic car is so cool. And uh, Menards, you know, and Paul, I know you're watching at home and proud and can't thank him enough and that whole family for this opportunity for the uh, power under the hood is always good. I'm glad to be uh, having that Ralph Shades power under the hood. But uh, man, this whole team, Greg Irwin, all of them, we, uh, we recovered. It wasn't pretty at the start, but man, they did an excellent job. So happy to be working with this team, the fans. Thank you all so much. The, the journey has been pretty cool. Thanks, Matty. A huge finish for this small team. Your thoughts? I'm, just, I'm sorry. I'm so speechless. Just, I'm so thankful to everybody on this team, everybody at BK Racing, Cosmo Motors in Hickory in North Carolina. They're local to me. He's my best friend. Sell some awesome cars. Please check them out. Um, everyone at BK Racing, Dustless Blasting. I'm these guys man that's unbelievable for you know a team like us to be growing this much and for us to get a sixth place run i'm sorry i'm so emotional it's just this is like a win for us and i am so excited i see my family back here my wife taylor just my brother is in town from the military um, and i'm so glad he got to experience this this is just this is incredible this is so i'm so blessed to be here I was looking in my mirror and uh, got too high and just barely got up in the marbles and made the most rookie mistake of my uh, my life. It was dumb. It's uncalled for. So uh, we had a miss. We had fast car on track. Nothing to show for it. Went um, had a you know lost spots on pit road there, which you win and lose as a team. And then trying to play catch up, just um, making too many mis mistakes and uh, yeah, that was it. It was just uh, we you know self-inflicted ruin our day and uh could have won and we had the fastest car and nothing to show for it and so um yeah i i drove i drove stupid i'm pretty pretty pissed off myself and um nothing else so won't sleep all week and this isn't exactly good when i'm trying to uh make my career and then just trying to play catch up and you over i just it was dumb i don't know <laughs> so much i wanted to win so bad for these guys for this team for them giving me this opportunity um, I'm just thankful that they gave me this opportunity. Toyota, uh, Procore, Dumont Jets, and Estawana, Spreco, that's all. I'm so thankful, but man, I'm, I'm sad. We got tight after the deal with Newman when he came up into us, and it all of a sudden it got really tight after that. But, uh, dude, congrats to Denny. He raced hard. He's, I, I've been a fan of his since I was a kid to be racing door to door with him at Bristol. In front of a great group of fans, uh, I'm trying try not to get emotional, but it's been a it's been a tough week. And, uh, I just want to stick around and keep doing this for the long time to come. I I love it. I love the opportunity. And I uh, I'm not done yet. Something will come open. It's gonna it's gonna happen. I'm I'm here to win. Something's gonna come come open. I'm proud of these guys. Thankful for my wife and fans for sticking with me. It's been a tough journey. It's been a hard week, and this is a uh, cool for this team. Matt Benedetto, you were putting on a show. You led 49 laps. We're having the run of your career, and then it all went bad on the backstretch there. What, what happened in the car? Just a race and deal. Um, you know, not not any, anything intentional. I talked to Paul there. Just I think he was trying to get to my outside, clip my right rear, just uh, just racing hard. So, I uh, yeah, here's the first time that I've, I've seen it there. Um, yeah, it looks like he just... Just barely got to my right rear, just was trying to push, maybe get to my outside, but I was focused on trying to help my Toyota teammates. I hope they can uh, pull it off, but man, like you said, this was, uh, I mean, it was the most fun Speedway event I've ever had in my life, being able to lead, do some incredible things. I have obviously an amazing team. People can see what we're uh, doing here. It's they need to be a part of Toyota, have Procore as a sponsor. I mean, all these guys, Levine Family Racing, Toyota, they all, they all took a heck of a chance on me, man, and 
glad we uh, proved what we're here to do. And I'm just, uh, I'm very, very heartbroken, but appreciative to be here. Thank you so much to all the fans for all the support. And we're, uh, it's just the beginning, so. Glad you're okay, Matt. We'll see you in Atlanta. Break, 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 break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never you know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't here to make friends. Yeah. I ain't never slowing down. Keep on going till I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm never slowing down because we're blowing up.